Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you my Love You A Ton Hippist Hippo card. Um, I don't usually do cards on my tutorials, but um, I quite like this one and I want to really show you the dies that you can get um, during celebration to go with the hippos um, because there's loads of them and they're wonderful and I love them. Um, so yeah, I did initially make this card um, but I wasn't overly happy with it and I felt there was too much sky, not enough water and um, but you know it, it was nice just to have a play and use some of the other elements here as well. Um, as I say the dies, um, this is the lovely stamp and then the dies, there are 19 dies in here. Um, as, as I always say the possibilities are endless with this but you know the, so there's the three hippos for being die cut out here. Um, you know we have water splashes I mean I say water splashes because you can use these for so many different things small flowers medium large umbrella waters waves or maybe um, clouds I don't know hearts little flower uh, sorry little fly party hat um, snorkel a mask sunglasses boat plant pot but people adapt these for so many different things so um, you know it, there are so many um i'm going to recreate this one um just because i wanted to show you how i did it um but yeah as i say it's i love it love it to bits but it would appear that i haven't put my layers out <laughs> which is totally madness but anyway luckily i always have my card layers cut ready so so we're going to start off then with just a layer of basic white this will sit on um I'm gonna to see if I've got a pool party. But is it pool party? Actually, no, it's balmy blue, isn't it? No, I haven't. No bother. I will just do what I need to do. So sheet of A4. If um yes, I'm gonna to have to go with it this way. So um 10.5 centimeters. So score it in half if you want tent fold this way um, and then cut it at 14.9 that will create a book fold that way or a tent fold this way if you want your tent fold to be um, that way so the taller edge then you just score and cut the opposite if that makes sense so card base so I need a couple of my beautiful blending brushes. Um, Granny Apple Green. And what other colour did I use? Did I use Pool Party? No, I used Balmy Blue as well. So two colours here. My Balmy Blue is for the sky. And if you've not used these before, you literally just rub them onto your ink pads um, which pulls up the ink and then I generally go off from the side and just just rub it on the card um, try and stick with your circular movements and try and stick with keeping the same way because if you go an opposite way or do an alternate way you will see it on your card don't be shy of putting any on and putting too much on you know you can always add okay so I'm, I'm quite happy with that although I'm just going to add just a little bit across here there we go so that and these just wash off under the tap so that's my balmy blue granny apple green again get some on your blending brush and again go from the bottom I'm not pressing on very hard here I'm going just nice and light and then you as I say you can add more as you go a bit more on that and as I say I obviously wanted a bit more oops, a bit more on the edges here just so that the card isn't completely white and just keep going until you're happy with 
the depth of colour or blending that you have. So I'm happy with that one. And as you can see, that's already now created a really nice base. <clears throat> For my clouds, I've still got the old craft white. Uh, I don't know if it's basic white. I don't know what colour it is anymore, but I have this old one. And it's that old that it's literally dried out. So all I do now is I use my refill to just add a bit onto there. I have a sponge dauber here. I just pick that up with and then just create my clouds. Which I just love the look of this. So leave that. That needs to dry a little bit. Crikey, clunky old cases. So that's that part done and then I have actually die cut the elements ready because I knew that it would take me ages. So I've already done my hippo there. I'm going to colour this one in with you um, but as you can see I have all my elements here. Um, I'm just going to dig the bucket out from the bottom. So this is going to sit in the centre which I'm happy to... Um, just put on with a couple of dimensionals there. So I'm going to pop that probably around there. And then this cute little hippo that I've coloured here, I will pop on this side. I'm trying to just make sure that they're level so that it looks like they're actually stood on the same ground. So for this one I've simply used my, no they're smoky slate, <laughs> my grey granite crumbs looking everything over, my grey granite um, blends. You can use any colour really um, and literally the light, that's dark, Good job I checked. The light I used just to do the belly and the nose part. Pardon my ignorance. Just like so. And I also used it to do finger and toenails for want of a better term. And then the dark is exactly the same, just do the other parts and then just do all the way around as you can see it's really easy with these blends. Just obviously be mindful when you're doing the eyes, she says, as she just goes completely over the edge. And then I'm just going to use um, the light oops, petal pink just to do the mouth and the ears, just to add a bit. Now if you wanted to add uh, little blushes to the cheeks you can do that with that as well but I'd go over it again with the um, uh, uh, with the light just to blend it so I'm going to cut this little hippo out so where did I put my dies oh there they are so this cheeky one is this one Is this one through and then as I say that's as simple as that one is so 
So a couple of dimensionals on the back of that one. And then all we need to do then is to start and build our flowers and things up. So, oops, don't stick on there. So this one, pop him there. And then, as I said, some of these, I'm just going to grab these bits here. So the grass here, I actually stuck on with glue dots, some of them. So three with glue dots. So one, two, three. And these ones, so I'm going to have that one just there. That one just hiding behind the bucket there. This one, this side. And then actually this one, sorry, I did put on a glue dot. But I went more this side of the die cut because this one I wanted to stick just slightly off the edge and then I'll just trim there okay and then these last three I used um, a mini glue a mini dimensional now if I remember correctly they're actually better if you cut these in half so it is a little bit fiddly but it does work a bit better and then just one more this one and the reason I wanted it to go like this was because I want them to sit just always oh, my doorbell just to sit underneath the bucket like so so that one there that one just overlaps slightly and then this one just there so those are the, the basic ones the other parts bar these little flowery I keep calling them flowers, flies rather. These are the parts. I actually die cut them all on the foam adhesive sheets so that they have that depth because it's almost impossible to add dimensionals to some of these. But I didn't colour this little flower in because I wanted this little red one to give it a more 3D effect. So that one's now stuck to me pop it there so the green parts initially I used as the flower stems as well as the grass I just cut them out in a different color so and pop one in the center and then the others will fit around it so I did three of those and those are in garden green like so and then a large yellow flower to sort of sit on that stem and then just let's say just sort of fill them in then as you go um a little red one down there and then Another yellow one there, and a little red one <laughs> there too. It's a little bit close, but that's okay. Um, another little yellow one in there, and another little yellow one in there, and then that there, that one. There. It's a good job I have my uh, original to go off. Large one, like there. A large yellow one. I hope I've done them 
enough and the right way. There. That red one. There. Maybe I have done one too many. In that little. Oh no! Got carried away. Did two too many. Never mind, that's fine. So there's my flowers. These little cuties here. Um, tiny little white, you can make them whatever you want and they are really tiny. Um, I actually used my uh, daffodil and black blends um, and I used the yellow one and I literally just did the whole of the body in yellow. like so and then this one I used the thin end and just did the head part and then very carefully did my stripes like so and then again back in with mini dimensional I don't know if I did do them in half or not, but yeah, you just need a little half and pop them on the top. <laughs> like so. And then last but not least is your sentiment, which I have here. Um, sweet sorbet, I believe, was my colour of choice. And then the hippo, love you a ton. Just stamp that on there. And just need my trimmer to just trim that down a little bit. Like so. And then, oh, crumbs coming out of the way. And I literally just stuck this on with some seal in the corner there. And then those little hearts, I think I actually used some wet glue just to add. Oh, I don't use one of them where you don't want to squeeze too hard and then this tiny tiny one be better off using my tweezers really wouldn't I just about there and then last but not least we're going to stick them onto our card base just like that and there you go there you have love you a ton hippo card they're just too cute aren't they i just love them shame they won't be around forever so get them while you can thanks for joining me see you all soon